Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, use Cutworks on the Gerber DS2500. Um, I'm going to use uh, a DXF we already created. It's just an 8 inch square and we're going to cut some uh, banner material. So I'm going to show you the basics of uh, how to start up the machine, how to zero it, how to home it, and uh, basically cut, um, cut an 8 inch square out with a, uh, a rotary cutter. So. You can come over here and open up Cutworks. I think it should give you an alarm saying, yeah, right here, you need to arm the system or, or basically start it up. So you'll have air hooked up all the time, but right here, you'll need to turn the power button on. These three lights should come on, basically showing you um, um, if there's any faults or whatever, you have to hit the blue button, which energizes the system, activates the air solenoids, and you also have to hit the reset button here to turn the, make the system online. Once you do that, as you see, Gerber Cutworks opens over here. The user login will always be on admin. Just hit OK. Um, and from there, you will open up your DXF file. File, open. Ours is in downloads. Um, more than likely yours will be in like a uh, USB drive or some file that you have saved somewhere or got from the digitizer table or wherever. So we're gonna open that. Right here where it says DXF import options, select the, um, if you're in millimeters, select millimeters, yada, yada, whatever, I mean, it's there. We're always gonna be in inches for the most part. Hit OK, and there it is. It's always going to put that particular DXF uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, which is your X, Y, 0. Um, so we have our system energized. We have air pressure to both uh, pin, tool holder 1, 2, and 3, which is also the pin. Um, there's no faults. There's several different... Um, E stops on the machine. There's one here. There's a here, here, and then one on the other side of the machine. So if you hit these or if someone hits it, it's just gonna uh, stop, stop the machine. It's just a safety device. And the laser here, that's how we set our X, Y, zero for when we get ready to cut. Um, so there's several functions here, nesting, and all kinds of stuff you can go through. We don't need to get into that. We're talking basic operation of the machine, the tool path and stuff like that. So we open our DXF, these main buttons here, home machine, map layers, and cut job. Those three are gonna be the main three buttons you use until you get deeper into uh, maybe garments or some other stuff. So the first thing you're going to do after you energize the machine, like I showed you down here, um, make sure everything else is good. You're going to home the machine and you can hover over this and it says home. You can also come up here to machine, home machine. But these hot keys right here are the best way to do it. You can hit home machine. It's going to ask you, warning, the machine will move. Do not make X3 move, do not make that means if you are on, if there is anything over here on this side of the table, whether it be a box or something, if you click those two buttons, it's going to not move this way before it goes back home. We don't have anything on the table, as you can see, so we're not going to click these and we're going to hit OK. It moves the machine to the home position. And next, <clears throat> everything works in layers on this machine. We can get into this in another video, but there are three tools, one, two, and three, and a pin. And a pin is just an ink pin to do markings and all kinds of stuff. We are going to use the roller cutter, which is always in, I believe, number one. Which is, yeah, which is always in number one. 
see here, we have no tool. You can right click here. Like I said, these three buttons here. This one here is your layer button. Click on it. It says no tool. It has no tool attached to it. Right click wheel cutter. Um, it is telling you it's not appropriate for tool wheel cutter. Change the default holder. That just because that's just because this is a red line. That doesn't matter. It goes off of basically layer colors. So change everything to a wheel cutter because it's the only thing you're using. You can change your speeds here, stuff like that. Um, we're going to leave it at 10 just because. And I'm just going to add this in here before you would start. Always remember to turn on the vacuum system before you start cutting. I did that before and it does not turn out well. Down here on tool holder one, that is your, your uh, roller cutter that we're using holder one. We're at about 15 PSI. That's about normal for most stuff. If you're cutting heavier material, maybe leather, you may have to go to 20, 25. It just depends. As your knife dulls, you'll have to have more pressure as well. Something you just have to play with as time goes on. So we are, I believe, ready to go ahead and cut. So, which is the next hot key right here. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do it to show you. Whenever I click on that, it's going to sit here and keep beeping like that until you set your zero and go. So I'm not going to do that until I turn on the vacuum. I'm going to make sure the vacuum's on and the, and the material that we have on the table is sucked down. The vacuum is over here on this side of the table. Hit the green button. And I'm not sure if you can even hear me, but just make sure the material, if, you're, if it's, if it's uh, wrinkled a little bit, you can kind of line it out. Now for what we're for what we're doing, it doesn't matter, but it wants us to home the machine, so not all of you, so we're going here to cut, and uh, basically over here on the machine, it's going to act so it's a jog to the start point. There's a button on the side you have to hit, a jog over, and you use this little red laser. Now I forgot to mention, you can line your material up like this by coming down here and see how that laser is staying right there on the edge of that line so it's in a good spot same here so we know our material is square with the with the world but for this instance it doesn't matter we're just going to come right here and we're going to cut an eight inch square it tells us to jog to the start point Enter and then it should start. For the sake of talking, I'm turning that off. You don't have to turn it off right now, but so. Basically, there's our eight inch square. Um, like I said earlier, there's several things, there's nesting features, um, all kinds of different things out there you can play with as far as where it starts to cut, how it cuts, um, all kinds of different ways. But that's all stuff you can learn in different, uh, you know, different Google searches or the, the documentation we have. Stuff like that. So, um, I think that's it for this one, and thanks for watching.